What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review or some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have today is an indie review for Red Eyed Prophet's new EP, Dark Sunlight. Red Eyed Prophet is an 18 year old college kid from New Orleans who told me that he's trying to push the culture along by chasing his dreams and bringing his own form of originality. And this EP isn't a bad start. The production is on point and that quickly becomes apparent on the intro where Armor Beats brought a sort of clams casino sound with bells and bass. There's not a whole lot of rapping on this intro so there's not much to say in regards to the lyrics and the subject matter. But things pick up on the next track, New Orleans. Mostly because the beat sounds like a trap remix of Val Venus's old theme music. If you're an old school wrestling fan, you'll know exactly what I mean when you hear this song. On this track, Red Eyed Prophet's flow and his vocals remind me a little bit of Sen City and Max B when they rap. And content wise, he spits about his city and wanting to be one of the top five artists in the underground. And this was my personal favorite track on the EP because to me it's the most solid track overall. But Meal Ticket, which has a smooth Neo Soul sort of beat to it, also stuck out to me. Although it was kind of weird when Red Eyed Prophet said that haters can smother themselves in their mother's tits. But hey, I guess it works as an insult. Now there's not really any adventurous flows or crazy wordplay happening on this track. But the hook is simple and catchy, and all in all it's a cool track to vibe out to. Mostly because the beat does the heavy lifting. One of the problems with this EP though, like with a lot of the indie stuff that I review, is that the mixing is a little off in some spots, and the overall sound quality could be better on this EP. On the song Questions for example, the vocals and the verses, which are a little bit dull to begin with, are almost drowned out by the loudness of the beat and that makes it hard to get into the track and hear everything that's being said. And that same problem is present on the song Mindfuck. The beat is just so strong that some upped volume or louder vocals would have really made a big difference. It's still a good track with a haunting beat though. And the lyrical content is interesting as Red Eyed Prophet spits about wanting to stay true to himself and stay underground while other people choose to follow trends in order to be socially accepted. So that little bit of self-awareness is refreshing and it shows that he's an artist who wants to be genuine. But the final track, Demons, has some of Red Eyed Prophet's most memorable lines. Like when he says that he's straight out the gutter like Ninja Turtles and pushing grams like nursing homes. And I know those lines aren't super dope, but they stuck out to me and they made me laugh. So that's gotta count for something, right? And just like on Meal Ticket, the hook on this song, Demons, is simple and catchy as well, as Red Eyed Prophet sings about keeping his demons in his shadow. So for an EP, this wasn't bad at all, and Red Eyed Prophet does show some promise. The beats on here are great, as all of these tracks have a bit of bump to them, and he seems to have a talent for making simple and effective hooks. Other than that though, there's just not much about this EP that sticks out as far as the lyrical skills and content go. And the beats really do most of the heavy lifting, so I give this one a 2.5 out of 5, with New Orleans really setting the bar high as the best track on this EP. Red Eyed Prophet definitely has the raw skill, but it just needs a little bit of polishing overall. And he's only 18 years old, so he has plenty of time to perfect his craft. That's just what I thought about this EP. To listen to it and check out some of his other contact information and links, just check out the information underneath this video. And let me know what you think about this guy. I always like when you guys check out the indie artists I review because it helps them out and lets them see what some other people think about their music. So as usual, do all that other good YouTube and social media stuff where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, etc, etc. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's the one that helps me out the most. I'll see you next time.